This is a vault truck. That's right, it's back. Put whatever you want inside, whether it be wood, items, or even your friend. Wait, what? And once you close it, nothing will be able to fall out, including your friend. What, what are you doing? Help! This means that you can drive off a cliff and nothing will fall out of it. For comparison, this is me doing the exact same thing without a vault truck, and you guys can see that it doesn't go well at all. And while you might not be driving off cliffs, you've definitely had things fall out of your truck. Something as small as accelerating or taking a sharp turn can make a ton of stuff fall out, which takes forever to clean up, and once you finally do and start going again, stuff will almost always fall out again. With the vault truck though, none of this happens. It makes everything you put in your truck stay in your truck. The vault truck also keeps trolls from messing with things inside of your truck and keeps every everything inside safe, and you can even clamp entire trees using the pocket feature which saves so much time. Compare this to a normal truck in which the tree almost always falls out. Open the vault truck up and all of the sudden you can carry a massive load of giant logs or modded wood and the bed cap keeps all of the wood from falling out when accelerating or even bumping into entire trees. Just try to resist the temptation to close the vault truck while it's loaded like this because if you do, it becomes an angry porcupine and I've just barely scratched the surface of everything that this truck can do so in this video I'll show you how to get a vault truck for yourself how to use it how it works some insanely epic uses for it and how to drive it in an active volcano with your friend trapped inside and watch as he loses all of his axes wait, wait no I have axes where are you taking me no not my axes am I evil Anyways, with that said, let's hop straight into how you can get a vault truck for yourself. That's right guys, the vault truck is in fact back and it's even simpler to set up than the one from the original video I made back in 2021 that broke due to a random Roblox update. Now I've actually been trying to revive the vault truck for years now and I've actually done it on two occasions. The first one was very complicated and even back heavy. The second one was perfect but a little complicated to produce. But the method I'm going to be showing you today is literally so simple you don't even need logic to build it unless you want to automate it, which I will show you how to do later. But yeah, this method was actually found by my friend Spencer. He DM'd me this epic method, so shout out to him. Here are his socials if you want to ask him any questions. But yeah, with that said, let's hop straight into how you can get a vault truck for yourself. Alrighty guys, so to build the spawner for the vault truck, don't worry guys, it is incredibly simple and don't even stress about the money either. You probably already have everything you need to build the spawner for the vault truck already on your base, so don't even worry about that. To be more specific on what you need for this, you're going to need these five things. So to start off, you're going to want to make sure that you have both a tiny floor and a large floor in your blueprint book and those can be located under floors. Now for the large floor and the tiny floor, you don't have to fill them in. You just have to make sure they're located in your blueprint book and that you can easily find them. But next we do have a smooth wall, which you are going to want to fill in. It doesn't matter what kind of wood you fill it in, but it just has to be solid. Personally, I filled mine in with my favorite wood, pine wood. Anyways, next up, you're going to want to make sure that you have a long trailer, AKA a 531 hauler and a long truck aka a Val's all-purpose hauler. Those two items can be found in box cars which is located across the bridge. Here you can find the long truck and the long trailer. Now to buy everything including the spawners and the blueprints it's gonna cost you 32,300 lumber bucks but I would imagine you already have most of these things if not everything that you need already on your base or in your blueprint book. Anyways, to start off, you're going to want to take your large truck and face it directly away from where you want to exit because we're going to be driving this thing out backwards. 
You're also going to want to make sure that you place the truck at least two studs away from the edge of your base. Personally, I'll place mine about five studs away from the edge. Now next, you're going to want to take a large floor blueprint. You don't have to fill this one in and you're just going to want to place it upright like so. And you're also going to want to make sure that it is exactly one stud away from the back edge of the truck spawner like so. And you're just going to want to place it such that it is aligned on one side with the truck spawner like this and you're also going to want to make sure make 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 sure that it is exactly one stud away from the truck spawner and to do this you just want to take a tiny floor blueprint and you want to place it like so right in between the truck and the large floor and if you have no gaps on both sides and also no gaps underneath then you have done it correctly now you're going to want to take your old tiny floor and you're going to want to place it like so up top like that. And now you're just going to want to come over here and grab your long trailer. And now this part is a little bit tricky. You're going to want to make sure that your trailer is flipped upside down with the wheels closer to the back of your long truck like so. And now you just want to place it against the large floor like so, making sure that it is directly directly in line with the edge of the large floor that you placed earlier and that it is one stud above the large floor and thus in line with the top of the tiny floor so just make sure that when you put your camera like this the tiny floor is directly in line with the top of the long trailer like so and if all of that is correct and the side of the truck spawner is perfectly aligned with the side of the trailer spawner you have done it correctly here's an example of it being placed wrong you guys can see that it is not directly in line with the long truck and you guys can also see that the button is not in the right place the button on the trailer spawner should be close to the one on the truck spawner like so now if you struggle to place the trailer against the large floor you can try stacking three large floors and three tiles on top of each other and then placing the trailer on top of that especially for you mobile players that might be easier but you will need to have large tiles for it and now it is time to place your smooth wall. So just turn it on its side like this and you want to place it on top of the button of the truck spawner. When placing it against the top of the button, the blueprint screen outline becomes misaligned. You just want to ignore that and just make sure that the part with the white outline is centered and one stud away from the edge of the spawner like so now you can verify that as always by taking a tiny floor and just placing it right there and if there are no gaps between these then you are good and if it is centered like so you have done it all correctly now if you struggle to place the smooth wall in the correct place you can place two regular tiles on either side of the button and that will make it a whole lot easier to place the smooth wall as the outline won't misalign now is the time to destroy any extra blueprints that you might have so I'm just gonna go ahead and do that and just like that guys your vault truck spawner should be fully functioning so to spawn the vault truck you first want to spawn the the vowels all-purpose hauler and after a second the smooth wall should push the truck back a tad you just want to ensure that it does move backwards before proceeding and now you're just going to want to go ahead and spawn the trailer and just like that guys you should have a functioning vault truck and I'll show you how to automate this later on in the video in case you want to hook it up to an auto unloader or if you just want to be able to spawn it easier now if that didn't work make sure you check the pinned comment under this video as it will explain some fixes and if it isn't addressed there you can leave your own comment explaining the issue but anyways now I'm going to show you some very useful tips tips and tricks to make the most out of your vault truck and if you think of any extras not mentioned in this video make sure to leave them in the comments below for others to read but anyways starting off with the first tip if your trailer ever unwelds from the truck and you can't drive because of it just spam click the hitch of the trailer and you will magically be able to drive again and once you do you might want to respawn the vault truck so it will actually weld now for those who don't really understand how the vault truck works basically when a vehicle first 
spawns. It welds everything together to keep the vehicle from falling apart, but the way we spawned the trailer essentially tricked the game into thinking that the trailer was part of the tailgate, and that's why when you open the truck's tailgate, the whole trailer comes along with it, because it just thinks that's the tailgate. Now one thing to note is that you always want to open this tailgate. You never want to open the tailgate of the trailer, otherwise, yeah, um, that happens. <laughs> I like to call it tent mode because it basically turns your entire truck into an instant tent to protect you from the creepy bird. Ugh, that thing scares me. Now by the way, if you ever try to open this tailgate and you just can't, usually you can put your cursor at the very lowest point and you'll be able to, and if that doesn't work, just hop in your vehicle and then get out and then it will just restore it back to normal. Something else that's pretty cool is that not only can you respawn the truck as many times as you like before spawning the trailer, but you can actually spawn the trailer as many times as you like. As long as the truck is there, it'll still weld. Now this does mean that if you want, you can absolutely get a fully pink vault truck. Just remember that sometimes the vault truck doesn't actually stay welded when you reload. So it could potentially fall apart at some point, which would kind of suck if you spend a lot of time trying to get a fully pink vault truck. So that's just something to keep in mind. Another tip is to never ever go on the ferry with the vault truck open because the ferry sees this phenomenon and it's like, hmm, time to do something completely random then. And this happens, so I'm not really sure why it happens, but it does. And you can lose your axes once you get to the other side, so just keep your vault truck closed when on the ferry. Now I did pretty much go over the majority of the features that the vault truck has in the beginning of the video so I won't repeat myself you guys can go try those out but one feature that I didn't really mention in the intro is glider mode so you basically just open up everything including the tailgate and all of the doors this one you're gonna have to reopen once you get in the seat but once everything is open you basically become unflippable you can drive off pretty much any cliff and you will almost always land right side up it is literally so insane guys and guys it is so freaking satisfying to just drive off cliffs and almost always land right side up so yeah guys that is a really really fun feature that you guys have to try out now I'm going to quickly show you guys how to automate the spawning process so that you don't have to click two separate buttons every time. It'll just be one button press. And by the way, you do have to automate it if you want to hook it up to an auto unloader and be able to respawn it using your auto unloader button. So to automate vault truck spawning, you're just going to need these five items. You're going to need three wires, a button, and a signal delay. Now if you don't know what any of these are or what they do or how to get them for that matter, I'll leave a link down in the description below and also in the card right up here to a video that will explain exactly what they do and how to get them. It's a great watch for any beginner Lumber Tycoon player as it will teach you how to use all logic in the game that is currently available. So to start off, you want to place your button close to your spawner unless it needs to be far away, as is the case with the auto unloader, in which case you may need extra wires to make it reach. But anyways, I'm just going to place my button like so, and then I'm going to place a signal delay such that the arrow faces away from the button. And you just want to make sure that it's at the maximum delay. Now you can adjust it to your own needs once you're done if you want the truck to spawn faster. But just note that it can be inconsistent depending on if you're in a laggy server or not. And it might not work in some servers if you make the delay too short. So the max delay is the most versatile. But anyways, just take a wire from the button to the truck spawner button. And then hook a wire from the button to the input of the delay. And finally, take the final wire and hook it from the delay output to the trailer button, making sure that the wire won't touch the vehicles when they spawn because otherwise they might not weld correctly. That should be good enough. Now, if you aren't able to place it due to a length error, you may need to use another wire. But anyways, if you have done it all correctly, the vault truck should automatically spawn when you press the button. You'll notice that there is quite a delay, so again, you can adjust 
adjust the delay, but just note that it could be an issue in a laggier server. But yeah, that is how you automate spawning the vault truck. And yeah, that is pretty much it for the vault truck. Remember to leave questions or concerns in the comments. And if you want something that holds a little more wood, you can click this video right here, which shows you how to get a mega truck. Or if you want the ultimate truck, check out this video over here coming soon guys it's gonna be epic but yeah thank you guys so much for watching this video hopefully it helped you and if it did maybe consider liking subscribing and i'll see you in the next video once it's out see ya